everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i have a huge 200 dollars daily charm haul all of these items were sent over to me as pr but i was able to pick out the specific items that i wanted as you guys may know, I have become absolutely addicted to Daily Charm. By far, they are my favorite nail brand. They have so many products from gel polishes to nail art to nail charms, nail stickers, foils, crystals. So, so many items are available to purchase. They also stay up with the hot top trends, which I love as well, such as reflective gel polishes, cat eye gel polishes, and all kinds of decoration items that are super trendy. They recently had a pretty big launch, I would say, of new organizational items, and today I wanted to try some of those products out. I think it is really cool when brands have like big launches like this, release really new products, and also very convenient products as well. Another thing I want to mention, everything in this package was packaged so nicely. The layers of bubble wrap, it just made me feel so good that they take the care, bubble wrap everything up so that the items arrive to you in absolute perfect condition. So I, I just wanted to mention that because I was really surprised with how everything was so wrapped up so nicely. Here is just a quick overlook at everything I got. I got this this item here is the main item that I picked out. And then of course, I also picked up little decoration items so we can fill these little jars up. So I am gonna be linking all of the products that I share in this haul and also the products that I use in today's nail set down below in the description box in case you guys want to check anything out for yourself or purchase something. I do also have a discount code with Daily Charm. That code is nailed by Brandy. I'll go ahead and pop it up on screen and down in the description box. I also have an affiliate link with Daily Charm as well. So for example, they are currently running a toll sale. So 20% off all nail art tools and you can use code nail art. So for that specific sale, you cannot use my discount code to claim that offer. But if you want to get 20% off any tools, you can use the code nail art. But if you still want to support me, you can of course just purchase through my affiliate link. And I do just want to give a big thank you to anyone who does purchase using my code or my link. It really helps me out a lot and truly means a lot to me. So the first item I showed was one of their new items. It is a nail art storage box. I love how it looks, the pretty gold color, and it has 35 jars. This next item is also one of their new items as well. And basically, it is a little piece of rectangular plastic that you can use to store your press-on nails or um, just like make nails and then showcase them. I love these so much. I did forget to pick up the double-sided tape and you can also just purchase the double-sided tape from Daily Charm as well, which I think is super convenient. My next haul, I will definitely be getting some of that double-sided tape because I really liked these little rectangular pieces. I think it will be really nice to showcase some of my absolute favorite nail designs that I have. I currently store them in a jar and I really like that but sometimes it's super hard for me to actually see the nail sets I've done, so I think that would be a nice way to showcase some of them. The next item I picked up is their Unichrome Powder or Unicorn Chrome Powder. Recently, I have been becoming addicted to chrome powders, just getting in those very trendy nail designs, and I didn't actually have this chrome powder yet. I know when the glazed nails were popular and everything like that, just chrome nails in general, I know this was like one of the top best-selling items. I was seeing it everywhere and I didn't have it in my collection yet so I wanted to go ahead and pick that up. It is a truly beautiful chrome. You can put it over any color of gel polish that you would like and it will just add a little glaze touch to your nails. 
The next item are these very pretty iridescent jelly-like flowers. These are kind of like those colored flowers that are very trendy, the ones I have been using frequently. Not in past nail sets, but I was using them quite often, and I kind of got an idea that these kind of looked like that, but just more of like an iridescent jelly look, so I wanted to pick these up. I absolutely love those like UV flower charms, so I wanted to get these ones. They come with a variety of different colors, pink, orange, clear, green, blue, and like a different shade of pink. And the last items here, which are a lot of items, I picked out literally so, so many different nail related charms. As you can see here, there are so many here, and I just love shopping on Daily Charm for this exact reason. They have so, so many different items. All of these were catching my eye. I was just scrolling through all of their nail decorations, just adding a bunch of items to my cart, and these are the ones that I decided to go with, but there are so many items here, and I thought it would be great since I'm getting that storage organizer. I thought it would be great to stock up on some different nail decorations. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up these containers. Before I fill each container, I will go ahead and show what the actual like nail decorational item is. For some of the items, I did get multiples in the same item, but I just changed the color. For example, here are these cute little kawaii bubbles or raindrops, whatever you want to call them. I did get a few of these, but of course I just switched up the color because they do offer multiple color options available on the website. I think I am just going to go ahead and let this part play out. There really isn't much for me to talk about or really explain. If you do have any questions though about the charms or like just anything like that that I'm not going to be talking explaining these items, please feel free to let me know down in the comment section. I am always trying to reply to your comments, heart your heart your comments, and just show the support that you guys give me, so I want to give it back to you guys. But another thing is you can check the description box. I am going to be linking everything down below, so all of these charms and everything like that, it will be easy to find down below in the description box, and it will allow you to go to the listing and just see it a little bit better. But like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and let it play out. I think it's kind of like a little satisfying organize with me while I organize all of these nail charms and I'll go ahead and let some music play in the background.
So coming down to the last couple of items here, I really hope that you guys did enjoy watching that. I hope it wasn't too boring. I also want to give a big thank you if you did sit and watch through it all. And of course, just watching through my entire videos, that always helps me out a lot. So thank you guys so much for the ones who do sit through and watch the entire thing. But I am just finishing up on the last couple of packs here from this haul. Once I do finish, um, putting the packs in from this specific haul. I will go ahead and cut the camera and off camera I fill up the rest of the containers with other nail charms or nail decor items from Daily Charm. I wanted to specifically keep this charm box for specific charms and decorations from Daily Charm. Since it is from Daily Charm I just wanted to focus on focus it on being like my daily charm nail decoration box and I just love this thing so freaking much. I definitely will need to get another one once I bring in some more charms because I filled this one up completely. I love the way it looks. I love how each little container comes out. It looks so nice. You can organize them in any way that you want. I also really like the overall design of it as well. You can kind of like up tip it a little bit and the little pots won't fall out which I feel is convenient in case you tip it to the side a little bit and that way all of your little jars don't fall out. I also really love the containers how they do have like the gold rim but they also have the clear top so it is visible to see what is inside the little jar and also the overall design of the box as well it kind of reminds me like a book and it also has that clear little piece on the top where you can see some of the charms it also has a nice space where you can either decorate it or you can like write on it or put like a little sticky tab letting you know what charms you have specifically in that container. Overall, I 100% recommend that you pick up that charm organizer and currently with the nail tools being on sale, you can get 20% off that new organizer box with the code nail art. So that was everything from today's haul. Let's go ahead and now jump in to doing some nails. So I am going to be using the Daily Charm Soft Gel Nail Extension 3 Step three-step set. So we have the liquids, we have the nail tips here. They have tons of different shapes and lengths available to purchase. So if you are not a big fan of coffin, just check out their other shapes available such as square, stiletto, um, oval, all kinds of different shapes, but I do personally really love the medium length coffin. I think they look super flattering on and just fit my hand type so nicely. Another thing about the Daily Charm nail tips is you could see there that I did show the sizes of the nail tips. So if you have your thumbnail measured and struggle with finding larger nail sizes, you will be able to see if they are going to fit you before you even purchase them. So going in with some quick nail prep before applying the nail tips, I started off with pushing back my cuticles and scraping up any of the dead skin. I also am taking a buffer here to remove the shine from my natural nail. I didn't actually do this step, but it is super crucial if you do actually want your nails to last. I just generally skip over that step since I'm not going to be keeping these nails on. If you do want your nails to last that three plus weeks though, definitely take a buffer, sanding band, hand file, and lightly buff the surface of your natural nail just to roughen it up a bit and remove your natural shine. After I was finished with all of that, I brushed away any nail dust. I went in with my dehydrator to all of the nails to dehydrate them. I let that air dry. I then went in with step number two, which is the primer. I applied a layer of that to all of the nails to prime the nails. If you're struggling with lifting, I recommend applying two coats of primer. That can definitely help your manicures bond just a little bit better and prevent any lifting. That was also an air dry product. And step number three, I am going in with the extension gel, applying a very thin coat of this to all of the nails, and then curing for 30 seconds. I 
I definitely recommend following those prep steps if you want the longevity of your nails. For this video though, it was just for educational purposes because I did go in with a peel off base coat because I will be removing the nails. But those prep steps work absolutely wonders when I am doing gel extensions on my toes. So if you are struggling with prep, I highly recommend following along with those steps. So once I am finished now, I am now sizing out my nail tips. Like I mentioned, I'm using the Daily, Daily Charm Medium Coffin Soft Gel Nail Tips. When you're sizing out your nail tips, you just want to make sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall. If you are in between sizes, always size up and do any filing or customization if needed. Never size down if the nail tip is too small. It is going to just pop off because it's not going to have that perfect fit like you want it. And then the nail tip is going to apply pressure and it can just pop off or you will be able to get lifting. And we don't want that. We want our nails to to last. After I had my nail tips sized out, I do dove right in to applying them, but I do personally recommend, again, if you want the longevity, I would go in and also prep the soft gel nail tip. For that, I recommend using a e-file and a sanding band to etch the inside and also chemically etching with a primer. Doing that will just help the nail tip bond a hundred times better and make your set last longer. So since I didn't do that, I just started right in again using step number three, the builder gel, applying that to the nail tip, estimating where my natural nail is going to be, applying a little bit more product kind of at the very cuticle area of the nail. I placed the nail tip onto my natural nail, starting at the cuticle area, slowly lowering it at a 45 degree angle and pushing it down until the gel product has reached the free edge of my natural nail. And when I see absolutely no bubbles, if you are visibly seeing bubbles, you want to remove the nail tip and start over before curing. You want the gel product to completely cover your natural nail and you don't want to have any bubbles. Once I do see that the gel is covering my entire natural nail, I'll hold the nail tip in place, do about a 15 second flash cure. I'll go ahead and move on to the next nail. And then once all of the nails were applied, I went ahead and went into my larger nail lamp and did a full 30 second cure. Recently, I have become doing gel X nails like all the time. I even do gel extensions on my toenails just because I really love this method. If you are a beginner wanting to do your nails at home, I 100% recommend trying this method. One of my favorite gel extension kits is actually this three step from Daily Charm. I just think it is really good quality. You get so many different nail length options and nail shape options. And for step number three, the builder, I just think it is the absolute perfect consistency and it just makes applying the nail tips very easy. Once the nail tips were applied and cured, I took a hand file to crisp up the free edge and I'm also taking a buffer here to remove the shine from the natural nail. That way when I go in with my gel polish, the gel polish won't flake or peel off. I then went in with a dust brush just to make sure I removed all of the nail dust before going in with my gel polish. Today I'm going to be doing a very pretty cat eye reflective design. So starting off, I am taking the perfect black gel polish. This is absolutely the perfect black. Daily Charm has the best black and white gel polish, super pigmented. I love these colors so much, but I'm just going to be applying a thin layer of this to all of the nails. Before curing, I will go in with a cleanup brush and clean up any gel that is on my skin, and then I will do a full 60 second cure. The reason I do a 60 second cure is because this gel is super pigmented.
After the black gel polish was cured, I am now going in with one of the Twinkle Flash colors. This one is named Abracadabra and is just a super deep like blue black um, reflective glitter gel polish and I am going to be applying a thin coat of this over top all of the nails over top of that black color and this just creates a super stunning color with that black base and this gel polish on top. I love it so much but this is going to be the base to my cat eye gel. So I applied that, I cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp and then I will be going in with my cat eye gel polish. I do want to mention that this set is inspired by Rena Santos. I don't know if I am pronouncing that correctly but they are over on Instagram. I'm going to pop up their like the nail set they did and what I used for my inspiration for creating this nail set. When I saw their nail set, I was just blown away with how stunning it looked and I had to try it myself. So I went ahead and did the black base, the reflective gel polish, and now I'm going in with the cat eye gel. I can't remember the name to this one, but I actually just recently got this one, another gel from Daily Charm. And this one has like a very pretty bluish purple green like all those colors in one reflect tint to it. I love it so much. I'm also using this rectangle magnet here and I'm just taking that magnet on the outsides of the nail so all around like the border of the nail and I am just using that magnet to kind of bring the gel polish and just really magnetize it to make it in the center. I am a beginner with cat eye. I feel like sometimes the nails look really good and others they don't look as good as I want them to. But I am practicing. I do really love using cat eye. If you are tempted to use cat eye but scared that you won't be able to get it to work right, I feel that you should totally just go for it because if you don't try it and you don't try like doing the designs, you are never going to be able to do them. So I feel like all I can say is just do it, go for it, try it. You will not regret it, especially with learning and just watching different cat eye tutorials. I just know that you are going to learn how to do it and I'm also along with the process as well with you. I am learning every time that I do a cat eye nail set something different, something the way the gel polish moves or how some cat eyes look better over a background and some don't. So definitely just wanted to mention that because I do know that sometimes cat eye gel polishes do scare people just because you have to kind of make your design with the magnet and moving around the gel. So after I had on the cat eye, I did do each nail individually and curing for 30 seconds before moving on to the next nail. That way my design wouldn't move around. Once I was finished with all of the nails, I am now just taking my Diamond Shine top coat. I'm applying this to all of the nails and then I will be curing for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. I personally prefer to apply my top coat before applying any crystals, rhinestones, nail decor, but definitely a personal preference. Do whatever works best for you. After that top coat was cured, I took the, I believe it's a stay put jelly, basically a charm or a rhinestone glue, and I am going to be using this to glue on some of these very pretty Aurora charms. I love these so much that I want more. I'm wondering if like Daily Charm makes more colors because these things were so gorgeous. Just wait until you see these out in the sun and with no like lights under my phone's flash. They were so stunning. They were so reflective and absolutely shining like a diamond. This is the last thing I'm doing with the nail set. So I'm just taking that rhinestone glue, placing a little bit in the center, and then picking up one of the Aurora shaped pieces, placing it into the rhinestone glue. And then I can't remember, I believe for each nail, I did do about a 15 second cure just to make sure none of the charms would move around. And then once I had them all placed, I went ahead and did a full 30 second cure just to make sure everything had a full cure.
I am now finished with the nail set, so I am going to be taking my cuticle oil, applying that to my cuticles to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set, and I loved the finished look of these nails. I feel like any time I do cat eye with the reflective gel and place any type of aurora or chrome, it always gives such a beautiful space look design to it, and I just love the way these nails look. I feel like these Aurora crystals or gems, whatever you want to call them, they are so stunning. They can really create an absolute gorgeous set. I also love how they are like the Aurora like unfoiled type to where since my cat eye is more of like a bluish green purplish color, that is also what these gems pick up and I love this set. It is a 10 out of 10, definitely one of my favorite sets that I have recently done and this will definitely be one that I will be putting on one of those little rectangle pieces that way I can just showcase it and look at it all the time it is an absolutely stunning set. I highly recommend creating this set if you just want to be looking at your nails all day, every day, out in the sun, under your phone's flash. I just couldn't stop looking at these nails and honestly, this was one of those sets that I just did not want to take it off. I did wear it a little bit after I was finished filming just because I loved looking at them so much. I think it is so gorgeous, especially when you like combine different nail dots nail designs such as like the reflective gel polish with the cat eye and then the aurora. I just love when you can combine everything, make it still very cohesive, but it just shines so bright and so pretty. Look at these outside shots. I was so happy that there was sun on this day. If it would have been a rainy day like today, the day I'm doing this voiceover, I would have been so heartbroken because these nails definitely needed to shine out in the sun. The last clip here that I will be showing is going to be with like no lights and my phone's flash and they are also super reflective. Definitely leave some like shining diamond emojis in the comment section if you have made it to this point in the video. That way I know you have made it until the end. I will be linking all of the products I showed and used down below in the description box. So if you do want to pick anything up for yourself, just check down there. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy the video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.